So today's video, we're going to cover beginner friendly 12 volt systems with my new hardware recommendations for 2024. And on the left, we have a budget system and on the right, we have a performance system and the price difference is substantial. But if you want something that will last for decades, you should go with this one. Now, first let's look at the budget system. Now this system you could throw into an RV, a van, or pretty much anywhere you please. Now I don't think it gets easier or cheaper than this. You have one large battery, so you don't have to wire up four small batteries, which is a big pain in the butt. You have inverter mounted to the wall with some screws. And then we have some pure copper cables that connect the two together. So we have a negative that connects to the negative and a positive that connects to the positive. And then I connected a solar charge controller to the inverters terminals with an inline fuse that you can buy at any automotive supply store. Now all this system needs is some solar panels that you can connect right here. And then you have a complete system that can charge and discharge on its own. And to turn it on, we press the power button and then you connect your loads right here. And once the battery is too low, this will start beeping. So then you have to wait until the solar charges the battery up again. Now this system is very easy to scale because you can always add more batteries and you can add a larger solar charge controller. And heck, if you want to change out the inverter, you can do that in minutes as well. This is as simple as it gets. Now for the performance package, we're using Victron and Victron has a module for everything and you have to wire everything up individually but it's still simple. So as usual, we have a battery, an inverter, and a solar charge controller, but we connect them all together with the Lynx distribution bar. And if you want to install a second solar charge controller or a fuse block, you can connect it right here as well. And the distributor is connected to a Lynx shunt, and this connects to all of your batteries down here. Now this shunt can tell you the capacity of your battery bank, or you can use the Victron communication from the Epic battery to work with this inverter. Now Victron also sells the Serbo GX and it will connect all of these devices including the battery so you can remotely operate and control your system but that costs a lot of money. <laughs> or you can have these devices work without communication or you can check on individual components with Bluetooth. So for example the solar charge controller you can connect it to your phone and you can see how much power is coming from your solar array. So it's really up to you and how much you want to spend or you can get rid of all of this and just connect the inverter straight to the battery and then throw the solar charge controller on there somewhere some people like it simple like the budget system and then some people want all the functionality now the solar charge controller is connected to some solar panels that are outside and we have a positive and a negative as long as the voltage of this solar array is below 100 volts I can safely connect it to the solar charge controller also make sure you have a 12 volt inverter if you're using a 12 volt battery and then you just put everything together and I have a video on how to make these cables if you don't want to make the cables you can buy the cables ready-made now on this system if you have ready-made cables you could build this in a few minutes you throw this on the ground you screw this and this into the wall and then you hook it up with a screwdriver in a socket and I'm sure someone online is selling a hookup kit. Just ensure that you use the right size fuse and conductor for your solar charge controller. Now for these systems, we don't need a fuse because this battery has one built in and this BMS has its own overcurrent protection. So as long as the cables are properly sized, which I recommend two watt or four watt gauge cables, you shouldn't have to add a fuse. And this distribution bus bar has a fuse for the solar charge controller. And this solar charge controller has a fuse right here. Now I don't see a problem connecting a second Second battery but if you connect a third and a fourth I recommend using a bus bar on the wall and then connect that bus bar to your system with a t-class fuse but for most people this capacity is just fine and if you need more capacity a second battery you can wire up just fine without a fuse just ensure you're using the proper size cable like I said 4 aught gauge for 12 volt is best but you can get by with 2 aught now both of these solar charge controllers can handle 100 volts DC from the solar panel array. So if you put like four solar panels together in series and it makes about 80 volts, you can safely connect it to these solar charge controllers, but there's also a minimum operating voltage. And for 12 volts, that's typically 20 volts, but I recommend most people keep that voltage above 40 volts. So right now this one is connected to a 40 volt array. That's a good voltage for charging this battery. And that's pretty much it. 
shit. I mean, I don't think it gets easier than this. I think the hardest part is putting the solar panels somewhere and then running the wire all the way over to this controller. Actually, a good tip for the beginners is do not connect the battery until all of this stuff is wired up and then do not connect the solar panels until it's nighttime. That way you're not working with a higher voltage. And these batteries you can't turn off like a 48 volt battery. So yeah, make sure you connect everything together and then connect the battery last. If you follow those steps, I don't think you can screw this up. Now, if you wanna save some serious money and build a super powerful system, you should step up your voltage to 48 volts. And I'll show you a small mobile 48 volt system that you can build as a beginner. Now for the money, I don't think you can beat this. And this little system on my website gets more traffic than all the other 12 volt systems combined. The features of this system compared to the last two systems is hard to beat. This thing can handle 5,000 watts of solar. It has a 3,000 watt output. We have five kilowatt hours of battery and it's easier to build. Check out how small these cables are to connect the battery to the all-in-one unit. And this all-in-one has the solar charge controller, it has an AC battery charger and an inverter all in one box. And this cable connects to an outlet so you can use the AC battery charger. And then I connected a surge strip so I can connect loads to the system. And then the solar panels connect down here. And building the system is dead simple. This cable actually comes with this all in one. And then I threw everything onto a hand truck so I can roll it around. So overall it's the same cost as the budget system but it's more efficient, it has way more power, especially the solar charge controller. Those other ones can only handle like 400, maybe 600 watts. This thing can handle 5,000 watts. And you can connect Wi-Fi monitoring to this device, or if you have 240 volt loads, like an EV charger, you can connect two of these in parallel. So, and then you'd have a 10,000 watt solar input. So for the money, it's hard to beat 48 volts and they're easier to build. These cables are much cheaper than those four aught gauge that you use with the 12 volt. Now this system you can use in an RV or a van and it's very easy to use this to power 12 volt devices. You can add a converter to this battery, just hook it right up because it has its own inline fuse and I actually have a tutorial video and I also have a bunch of schematics on my website. Now if you wanna build this in instead of a 12 volt system, I'll have a link below. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I try to make it as beginner friendly as possible. Everything is like just a couple wires and that's it. But please let me know in the comments if you have any more questions and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, bye.